Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second week of August. We're just going to start right here. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you. And the timing is fluid, so let's see what we have for Aries for the second week of August. I guess we'll take that one. There's two on the bottom that didn't come up. We're going to take them. Um, it is raining out, so if you hear that in the background, that's what you hear. We got that one. One more card, please, for Aries. There it is. It went flying. Okie dokie. So what do we have for Aries? Whoops. Dog. Protection from a powerful friend. So there's some sort of protection this week. Lobster in a financial pinch. Gavel. Involvement with the law. Boat. Money or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. So you're going to be getting some sort of money. It may not come right away, so keep that in mind. There may be an uh, order, you know, um, what do you call that? Payout, you know, from a court case or something like that. Um, you may be in a financial pinch now, but it's obviously not going to last forever. It's gonna, it's this week something is gonna happen that is gonna change your financial situation. And it may, you know, the thing is, is it, the order might be set this week, but you may get it later. Um, dog, protection from a powerful friend. So there is gonna be some sort of protection. Could be protection from the law. The law is very powerful. So anyway, what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? What do we have? I just got to get these really good and shuffled. There we go. Four of Pentacles. So this is hold on. Hold on. This is uh, holding on to your money. You may be really trying to hold on. You may be, uh, I mean, this is kind of greedy. This guy looks like he is greeting on for, uh, greeting on, holding on in a, um, well, it looks like he's pretty selfish. So there is some sort of selfishness here. Okay, if you take a look at his face, it's like he doesn't want to let go. He's holding on to something. Um, not for the right reasons. Okay, so somebody's holding on to something that they don't really need to be that tight. It's very, very tight. This is resisting change. Not giving. Selfishness. Hermit, time of reflection, reflection cannot speak for any reason. So reevaluation. So it is definitely a time for a retreat, a need to re-identify and reevaluate. You may need to reevaluate what you're doing with your money. Okay? Because this is about money and this is um, withdrawing and reflecting and going within and planning. You may need to replan. Okay, and you need to really listen to yourself. You may be realizing some sort of new identity or something like that. Eight of Swords, so that is trapped, um, trapped in your mind. Um, fool, starting fresh, starting over, fresh start, an opportunity to start fresh. So you are going to, or you are being given an opportunity to start fresh. There's a level of confusion here though. So you may be feeling confused, having a hard time making a decision. You may be wanting to be play it safe. I do feel like you're trying to play it safe. Um, let me get the rest of the cards. 
Well, we have the Chariot reversed, the Eight of Wands reversed, and the Death reversed. So this is definitely not letting go. This holding on is getting old. I think you're ready for a new beginning. You want a fresh start, but there's there could be some fear. There's fear in the way. There's fear of letting go. I feel like you are you may be blocking your emotions. Um, you may be feeling a little scattered, and maybe that's why I'm having a hard time speaking. It's scattered, scattered emotions. Uh, you may be feeling like you're losing control or your emotions are all over the place. Uh, there's a lack of direction here. You definitely need to re re retreat. This is retreat and withdraw and take time to plan your next move. Are you holding on to something that you need to let go of? That's what it looks like to me. Uh, the death card reversed is it's getting old holding on. I think that you're about you're about sick of living in this prison. This is prison, okay? Trapped in a situation that isn't very comfortable, but choosing to stay there. You 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 know, it feels like you're just not quite ready to let go. Um, you may be feeling guilty. You may be feeling guilty for some reason, and you're thinking about it a lot. Uh, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with another Aries. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, there's a need for transformation. There's a need to release. There's a need to go in a new direction and find your discipline and have faith. You need to have faith, but I think you've lost faith. You've lost faith. Maybe you've lost faith in yourself. You need to have faith during this time. So I think by the end of the week, you are going to take a leap of faith. But I think that's going to be towards the end of the week. I think right now you are, you know, very much stubbornly holding on to something. You're holding on to um, something that is yours, right? It's yours. You don't want to give it away. Um, but... But I feel like it's keeping you trapped, whatever this is. Whatever it is that you're holding on to is keeping you trapped. It's not making you comfortable. I feel like you're uncomfortable, you know. You're in a very uncomfortable situation. Um, and this is not moving forward. So both of these cards are not moving forward. I think you're having a very hard time moving forward. Now, this this death card is a dead end, okay? It is. It's, it's a accident and it definitely could be an accident or it could with these two cards it could be an accident it could be a car accident i'm not saying you're going to get in a car accident but somebody in your life could um there could be um i mean the death reverse is a delay the chariot reverse is a delay the eight of wands is a delay so that we have a delay here there's a delay in success there's a delay in traveling to the destination that you're trying to get to and it's because of stubbornness and fear, okay, stubbornness and fear is delaying your own success. You really need to plan differently. You need to come up with another plan. There's something that you are set on that is not, it's not right, okay, it's not the right plan. Anyhow, back to this death reverse. This is held back by fear. This is, uh, uh, this holding on is definitely getting old. I think we have some stagnation here. Things are stagnant. You're stuck. You're stuck. Um, but you do have a new start right around the corner. Okay? You just have to put pick your head up and leave everything behind. This is leaving it all behind. Just just go. Just go. Just do, what it, do whatever it is that you want to do. It's time for you to do what you want to do. But you've got to let go of something that you're holding on to. Um, and there's something to do with money here, okay, we got, because this is the, uh, the Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, so this is definitely about money or, well, I think it's money, so yeah, I think it's money, I think you're holding on for, because of financial reasons, maybe you don't want to pay out, you don't want to give, you may be holding on to something just because you don't want to give up your money or you, something like that. Um, but the King of Pentacles is a hard worker. I think that you've worked really, really, really hard for all that you have. And I think that you're you're really thinking about, you know, what are you thinking about? You're thinking, this is about giving up because this is, 
A lot of thinking going on. This is thinking. Not going anywhere. Definitely trapped. Definitely stuck. Very, very stubborn. Now, the Nine of Wands is angry, hard feelings, great personal fear. You know, your Nine of Wands reversed. So I think you are definitely loaded with fear. And fear is hindering your success. Fear and stubbornness. Now, the King of Pentacles is somebody that has worked really, really hard, is very stable. You've worked hard to obtain stability. And you don't want to give it. You don't, you don't want to give what you have earned away. And I'm not saying that you're not generous because I feel like you are. But it's like you're, you're, it feels like you're a little too, I hate to say this, but, you know, we started this out with greedy. And I'm not saying you're greedy, but I guess I kind of am. Um, and then all people get triggered very, very easy. So that is going to trigger some people right now. Um, and I understand that. Um. <clears throat> this is selfishness, stubbornness. It's mine, 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 mine. I worked for it. It's mine. Um, Queen of Swords reverse. You could be dealing with a bitch. Okay, the Queen of Swords is a bitch. She tells the truth or, or not. She does whatever she says, what she has to say. And it's not about your feelings. It's about the facts. Uh, the Queen of Swords is very harsh. She's hard to deal with. So you may be dealing with an individual that is, is very, very hard to deal with. And you have a lot of hard feelings with this person. Could be any sign. It doesn't matter what sign this person is. But you're dealing with an individual who... This person could definitely be a liar. They lie for their own good. And I think that you probably have some sort of hard feelings with this person. I feel like this person... You know, you're probably thinking about whether that you should give them what they want or not. And I think they're fighting with you. Or they have fought with you in the past. Um, I do feel as though there's some sort of... Uh, with the Eight of Wands reverse and the Chair reverse, that's something coming to a stop. No more movement. No more contact. This is like a dead end. Something comes to a dead stop. Okay? Somebody's... You know, it, it's a dead stop, okay? Um, and whatever this is, maybe it's this person that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody that, you know, has you have a lot of hard feelings with and they, um, they face some challenges. You know, they, they get put on the spot or something like that. Uh, the death reversed is... It, feels, it almost feels like there's a... And I won't want to scare anybody, but with the chair reversed and the death reversed, it feels like all of a sudden there could be a sudden um, ending, okay? This could be a sudden, you know, ending of some sort. Um, could have something to do with a father. Could have something to do with an ex. Could be the next wife. Could be a wife. Could be somebody that is bitter. This person is very, very selfish um, only cares about themselves. So you, I think that you are thinking about your, about who to to give you. Maybe this has to do with an inheritance. Did it say that with an inheritance, money or property through an inheritance? Maybe this has to do with inheritance. Maybe it has to do with a winning or money, and you want it all for yourself, or somebody else does. It could be this bitch down here. There is somebody here that is very very selfish that wants it all for themselves. It may or may not be you. And I think somehow you are in the seat. I feel like you are in the seat. Mm -hmm. This, and, and I think this, um, you need to be wise. You need to go within and you need to think about uh, what you're holding on to and who you want to share with and who you want to give to. So I do feel like this week you have a new beginning right around the corner. This is both new beginnings. A new fresh start. You have an opportunity to step into new territory and leave all the hurt behind. Because the, the fool starts a new journey and leaves everything behind. This is a new a new journey. Okay, the last card in the deck is the world. So that means we have a, somebody that has completed a chapter of their lives. A big one. Something prominent. Okay, and now they are about to start a new chapter. A new life lesson. A new 
a new journey. So you are about to step your feet onto a new path. And I feel like you are going to be leaving behind some sort of nasty bitch um, who may have been after your money. So I think that you're going to get... Oh, we got the Ace of Cups in reverse on the bottom. So it, it is going to be an emotional week because of the Ace of Cups in reverse is tears, sadness. Um, there is definitely shutting down emotions as well. Okay? I think that you're going to be closing your heart off to somebody that completely, if you haven't already. All right, and it's a, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, it could be anybody. Okay, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be anybody, but I feel like um, you have a lot of hard feelings with an individual that I think you're going to realize because this is a realization. Okay, I think something is going to happen that makes you realize. Um, that it's really time to let go. It's really, 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 really time to let go. You may decide you don't want to live because this is this is this death card reverse is about life or death. Live with whoever this person is if you're living with them now. Or you don't want to be trapped or tied or stuck to this person anymore. You don't they, you know, there's a lot of blocked emotions. Maybe you've been burying your emotions. Could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. This person has kept you trapped in some sort of mindset. Okay? They've made you maybe they've made you think that uh, there's something wrong with you, okay? Anyway, I feel like this week you're going to be leaving this person behind for good. You're going to be taking steps to uh, leave them behind. I think that... Uh, fear has stopped you. I think you've been protecting yourself. There's some sort of self-protection here. I think you've been protecting yourself and staying put. You've been staying, you know, maybe some of you have been alone. You know, the hermit is very alone. And you've been alone because you were, of, because of hard feelings from somebody from your past. You've chosen to be alone. This week, you're going to be stepping outside of your comfort zone and opening up. That's what I see. Good luck.